right, watch fans, guess what I've got today? You'll never guess. It's another watch. So I honestly don't know what it is. Literally just came in the mail. So um, I've actually got four other watches I'm supposed to open. But I figured, you know what? This one's in my hand. We'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. I have no idea who, who makes it, what it is, but we'll find out together. All right. February. Cool. Nautis. All right. Well, let's find out. I know nothing about this. I don't know the brand Nautis, but we'll find out. Ooh, looks kind of cool. All right. I like that. Wow. Interesting. It's very similar to another watch that I had, but I really like this strap. Very nice, nice watch. Um, yep, hacking features enabled, so it's not running, but uh, we'll fix that. Let me see what I can find out about this watch, and I will make a video. Otherwise, you'll see it without. Nautis. Derived from nauta, it is the Latin word for navigator. Navigating the open seas requires preparation, courage, and strength. It demands fortitude to embark on the journey and return to shore with epic tales to tell. Inspired by the uncharted open waters of the Atlantic, Nautis timepieces were developed and designed with a sense of nautical adventure. Each timepiece exalts distinct characteristics that not only serve a purpose and function, but also showcase designs that are second to none. The Nautis Watch Company was founded in 2017 by a Dutch entrepreneur and is owned by the same managing company that owns Heritor, Rain, and Shield Watch Companies. Nautis Watches has management offices in three locations. Their primary office and studio design location is located in Manchester, England, in the Graphics House Manufacturing and Office Center. There also exists a USA-based office located in West Bloomfield, Michigan, and finally, a small design office in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Nautis watches are made with premium materials and precision craftsmanship. Inspiration for the Nautis Stealth 200 collection was derived from submarine instrument displays utilized deep beneath the surface of the sea. Designed and developed to perform as precisely as it appears, it has a 20 ATM water resistance and Swiss Ronda movement. This nautical timepiece was born to seek the deepest depths of the open blue no matter the voyage. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. Uh, so for those who don't know, this is my February edition of the Black uh, Club Watch Gang Watch. And for those who don't know, um, Watch Gang basically is a uh, watch club, right? Like they've got all kinds of clubs. There's a wine club. There's a cigar club. Um, I was in a wine club for a while ago. I know. It's hoity-toity, but, you know, I wanted to try some. And so I've joined a watch club, and I've been in it for, for quite a while. And this is one of the ones that I got. This is the Stealth 200 uh, by, by Nautis. Um, it's actually very cool. I'm just going to kind of get some of these other things out of the way real quick. Um, the watch has a, a two-year... Uh, warranty, which is actually quite nice on all defects. Um, this is a warranty card that comes with it. And because you get it through Watch Gang, you officially have record of it. It's not like buying a watch from a, um, a gray market. You, When you buy watches through Watch Gang, you actually do, in fact, get the full warranty. So that is actually very nice when you sign up. And, and just to be clear, I don't get paid by them. Um, I just signed up for it and like it. Uh, when you sign up for their, their watches, they run you through a series of things to try and identify what your interest is. Of course, you can always just tell them and you can change your preferences at any point. Uh, I picked the one where I am a, a trendy uh, um, 
younger person, which I'm not, I'm 42, but that's still young, right? I mean, like, I, you know, still get around and hang out, but, so I, I list myself as sort of a younger person that likes to go and, and eat out and stuff and enjoys uh, nice dinners, and so that's, that's what I picked, and, um, this is what they send me. So every once in a while I get a diver. I've gotten some nice divers and I really like them. Uh, they, they've given me some really nice divers. And sometimes I also get some more conservative, uh, dress watches that I can wear with my work clothes. But quite honestly, I, I mean, these are, this is my normal attire unless I'm having to brief somebody, in which case I, I, I wear a suit. But let's go ahead and get started in this. Um, this watch is actually quite nice. Uh, you saw the box, not much to it. It's, not the greatest quality box, but really who cares, right? I There's very little that I would really be interested in keeping. Uh, this watch is actually very, very good. I did a little bit of research on it, uh, and I will kind of go into it. I'm not going to take off too much of this stuff because it's, it's going to take forever, and I don't want to take up the video <laughs> with me removing too much sticker stuff. But I do want you to get a uh, sort of idea of what it looks like without all this some of the basic nonsense off of it and then we'll just get right into it so um it is it is a quartz watch and it is actually a ronda movement and it's a it is truly a swiss movement uh it's a nice one and i'll put pictures of it up here and just a little more information on the bottom it is a ronda 517 movement which is the newer version if i'm not mistaken of the 513 s so it has better uh, what is it? It has better uh, uh, power management. So that means with the crown pulled like this, right? The hacking feature. Let me get it out. There we go. With the hacking feature enabled, this can save power for almost 10 years, which is spectacular. With it in, you're guaranteed about three to four years. So that's not too bad either. But if you don't plan on wearing it, you know what? You just pulled the crown and you let it sit. Speaking of the crown, it's... Uh, it is a uh, their logo is on there and it is also a screw down crown which is quite nice and i'm going to set the date because why not right so you can see what day this is and it is friday okay and i will set it to the atomic clock and we'll check the accuracy which is pretty good Let's see what this does okay good all right it is 450. All right, so screw down a crown. Feels quite nice. It catches immediately. And uh, I like it. It is not too rough. Logo doesn't match up when closed, but that's okay, I'm sure. Oh, no, actually it does. If I give it a good, nice and tight. Because, you know, since it's quartz, it's not something I'm going to have to fiddle with on a regular basis. So, you know, it's not like my mechanical um, watches that are screwed down crown, where basically every time I wear it, I have to now go pull the crown and unscrew it and stuff. And, you know, that's just, it becomes just a bit much. So uh, I'm actually uh, kind of happy that this one is a quartz. And, and I do like quartz. Uh, it is a domed crystal. It's actually very nice. It's a hardened mineral crystal, which is better than just store a normal mineral crystal. Uh, it is not sapphire, but that's okay. Uh, the watch is 3 16th uh, stainless steel. That includes both the bracelet and the case and it's quite nice and uh you can see in the back uh some of the additional things let me pull this off and i'll, I'll get some good pictures of, of the watch opened up too i always do but uh the more the more and more i see this i like this this strap very much reminds me of my citizen skyhawk at which at some point i am going to do a review on um, but it, it is, this is one of their uh, less less expensive models, but it is still a very nice model. It does have a Swiss movement in it, the Stealth 200. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors, which I will put up here, and you can see. And then, of course, the model number changes. The last, the last digit changes based on the color. But there's quite a few nice-looking ones here. This one is, is very conservative, very nice. Um, there's a lot of different colors that you could pick from, but... I think this is this is good, a nice one to have for every day. Uh, I suppose if you pair your your clothes with your watches, your watch with your clothes, I don't know who does that. I do, but uh, <laughs> either way, this is a good all-round watch that you can pretty much wear with anything. Uh, so I, I like it. 
Uh, let's see what else can I talk about. You know what? Let's let's check out the weight, and then we'll get into the cost. It is a slight. It feels like a, it's got some good weight to it. I'll do this in grams. So it is 220 grams, perfect, even. So that's that's uh that's got good good weight to it. Uh, another thing worth mentioning on this watch, the MSRP for this watch for the Nautis uh, Stealth 200 is $295. Now, I got it from Watch Gang, and uh, it's a surprise watch, right? So I didn't pick it, but uh, I, I like Watch Gang because it they basically pick watches for me. And of course, you know, they, they sell them in bulk uh, because to all their members, right? If you're a member of Watch Gang, you're going to get it. And so they negotiate deals, and that does allow them to get watches at a discount. So all in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, my cost was $109, I believe it was, with tax and shipping, which is not, and I'll correct that at the bottom if I'm wrong, but it's, uh, you know, I, I get one every month, so I kind of forget. I should I should know by now. So I looked on eBay uh, to see what the going rate is, and I found a couple that were $119, $120 that were used. This one is brand new. Obviously, um, I'm touching it. It's still new until I put it on and, and wear it. Uh, and then it's used. <laughs> but um, there were several that were used. New ones uh, from gray market sellers and from actual real retail outlets, they were all going from anywhere from about $135 up to $250. So for the price, what I paid it's a good deal, right? Now, a lot of people wonder, what's the point of Watch Gang? Well, I like to see new watches. Uh, that that's I like to be introduced to new brands. I've never heard of this brand. Uh, I like the brand. Um, you know, it's it's it's. Uh, I mean, you're you're getting a pretty good deal for this. So, like, with this watch, I could right now, if I wanted to, sell it and get all my money back, and I would have no problem. Or I could go back on Watch Gang and trade it with somebody else who's interested in this and has one that they want to trade, which is one of the features. But um, I don't do it with the intent to make money. Like, that's silly. Nobody goes and buys a watch from a watch club so that they can go turn around and sell it. Um, but... If you wanted to, I could right now make a profit off of this by going again and selling it. That's not the point, of course, but you could do that. And that always makes these purchases that I do uh, feel a little bit better about spending the money on it because then I know that I haven't wasted money. It's not like buying a car and the minute you drive it off the lot, it's immediately worth less. Um, the only time that has not been true was when I bought a Pontiac Solstice, put a picture of here in it, uh, and... Uh, Yes, that leaves my wife, but don't tell anyone that uh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to put pictures of her on the internet. But uh, the only time is I bought that car, and before I drove it off the lot, somebody was offering me ten more thousand dollars. But I was like, hell no, this is the first one in Fort Lauderdale, and I've got it because I special ordered it. So I'm keeping my damn solstice. Uh, and then I sold it four years later. I probably should have taken his ten thousand dollars. I love that car, but what can I say? All right, what else can I talk about it? Um, 20 ATM, 20 bar. Uh, this is a good, solid, classy watch. You could take this snorkeling, and I'd be proud to wear this snorkeling. Um, you can wear this all day long if you want to go swimming, do the dishes, wear it in the shower. Whatever you want to do, this is it. You wouldn't go to the Titanic with this because it'll come back cracked and exploded and whatever else, but very, very nice watch. You can easily, hands down, take the snorkeling and even some some good decent diving uh because it goes 200 meters that is the length of a football field oh uh, and actually it's twice the length of a football field football field is about 100 meters all right you know what let's let's do an awesome loom shot i want to do a loom shot all right lights all right not much to it just the hands, but uh, it's enough to really illuminate kind of the inside of the watch too, so it's okay. Get the second hand, pretty obvious you're wearing it like that, you're going to be able to tell uh, that it's almost four o'clock, and that's really all that's important. So,
All right, let's uh, start measuring it. I believe this is probably, I'm gonna take a guess, about 40, 44, 45 millimeters. 44 and a half. You know what, I'm gonna say 45. The lug width is, and you can swap this out because this is a good watch. Uh, like, you know, not not like some of the others that, that I've, um, uh, not like the Jacques Lama where you literally can't remove it. It's actually where, you know, it's got the arms here. And so you could actually have something on there. It is, I'm gonna say that's 24, 24 millimeters. And let's check the case depth. 15 millimeter case depth. So it's a good size. It's not ridiculous. Uh, it's something that you'd be happy to wear and wouldn't like you were, you were trying to be a gangster or something like that. Um, I've seen this case design before too. I don't remember where I've seen it, but I had another watch that had a similar case design. Might have even used the same case, but um, I definitely like this watch and I'm happy with it. I've got a bunch of these dive watches now, so maybe I'll start giving them away as gifts or, you know, to my friends and stuff, or maybe I'll sell them. I might just wear this and then I'll maybe have it, I don't know, engraved for somebody and then give it away. Um, but overall, I am very happy with it. Uh, good deal, good construction, solid links, none of that BS, BS stuff where it's, uh, um, uh, what's it called, wrapped, um, pressed, stamped, and rolled, none of that nonsense. I like the dishing. You can kind of see it's got a good look to it. It's got some depth into it. It adds some interest. So it's not just a normal uh, blah kind of watch. Overall, very, very happy. So if you like this review, please leave a like. Um, and if you have any questions about this watch or you want to discuss it or tell me what you think, don't like it, like it, leave it in the comments below. And I would really appreciate a subscription if you uh, want to see more like this uh, and I always encourage you to give me recommendations because I'm always interested in trying to find out new watches obviously you guys know I'm a Wenger fan and a Ingersoll fan and quickly becoming a Timex fan as well um, and I like Festina now too but if there's any others that you'd like me to take a look at please let me know and I will absolutely be sure to do that thank you very much